Can you imagine your life without creativity? Then learn about awesome crafting life hacks and cool DIYs. What about a paintbrush organizer and a hot glue pencil? Or a bracelet out of pencils? Watch these and other smart ideas in our new video. Can't you think up what you are going to do? No problem! I have brought a whole art workshop. Here I've got paint and brushes, a plastic box and a spray bottle. Let's get started with watercolors. You don't need a whole cup of water for painting. Take a spray bottle. Spray your paint with water before using it. You can start painting in a moment. It's fast and easy. My friends got an urgent call. Are they calling from the Louvre? Perhaps they want to exhibit her pictures. But it's not a reason to leave her brush carelessly. She may get into paint blobs. To keep it clean, put up your brushes in a special organizer. Take a foam tube off a broken water gun. Cut off the excess to fit the plastic box. Cut it lengthwise. Make a few cross cuts on the other side. Put the cut tube on the wall of a plastic box. Fill it with water. Put your brush into a tube cut after painting. You won't get any mess with this practical organizer. You'll keep your hands and desk clean and tidy. It's a big sale in my favorite online clothing store. The only problem is that I have to choose the right size. Otherwise, I might buy a dress that is too small or too big. I ask my friend to measure the length of my sleeve. There is only a ruler at hand. Hmm. Measuring a sleeve with a ruler is not the best option. There should be another way out. Draw one centimeter hatch marks on the side of a squared notebook. This length is equal to two squares. You can make an inch marking in the same way. Put a ribbon next to the notebook and draw the same hatch marks on it. Make the marking along the whole length of the ribbon and write the figures. With this measuring tape, you can measure out whatever you want. First of all, your sleeve length, and then the size of your bill you will get for your online shopping. I'm going to cut some clay, but the knife without a handle is not the handiest thing to do it. I don't want to stain the clay with my blood. My friend asks me, what's wrong? This knife hurts me. Let's work on it to protect your fingers. Roll a piece of air drying clay to fit the length of the knife. Put it to one edge and attach to cover the blade. Let it dry. With this DIY handle, we give the knife a second life. Cut your clay and not your fingers. Is there no sharp awl within easy reach? A needle is not the handiest tool. It's always up to fly away somewhere. Let's make a handy awl using hot glue. Cut off a piece of a hot glue stick to make a handle. Heat up a thick needle at the end where the eye is and stick it into the end of the hot glue stick. Wrap the handle with decorative tape. Using this awl is way handier and safer than a needle. My friend is definitely hinting at something. Have you got a new watch? Wow, it's awesome! I want the same for me. My wrist looks so empty, but she doesn't want to share. This is why I'm going to make a zipper bracelet. Cut off the tape from a metallic zipper. Trim the edges by melting them with a lighter. Pass a joint ring through the teeth and the bottom stop and fasten a lobster clasp to the slider. Clench the ring and the clasp together with pliers. Decorate the ring with a charm. I ask my friend to help me do up my bracelet. She seems to like it, but now I don't want to share. The bracelet matches me better. However, the handmade guru is up to something. Color pencils and a knife are put to use. Does she want to carve a colorful Pinocchio? No, it's just a designer bracelet out of pencils. Cut a color pencil into equal pieces with a knife. Make pieces of different colors. Drill a hole in the center of each piece. Be careful, watch your fingers. Thread the details onto a thin cord to form a string. Alternate the colors and tie a knot that helps you to adjust the length of the bracelet. 
Cut off the excess. The bracelet looks marvelous. I don't want to keep track of time anymore. I want to enjoy my life. Who needs a boring watch when you've got bright bracelets like those? My friend doesn't want me to see what she's doing. What is she hiding? Is she forging works of art or banknotes? No, she's making a gift card for me on awesome DIY paper. Use markers of different colors to shade a clear sheet protector. Spray it with water and press it down with a sheet of paper. You'll get a colorful print pattern. It is super easy to make this unique background and it looks like awesome scrapbook paper. Add a note to make a gift card. My friend complains that her scissors have become sticky after cutting adhesive tape. And I complain that I am too clumsy about doing my nails today. But why on earth does she need my nail polish remover? Sticky traces on scissors can be easily removed with the help of rubbing alcohol or nail polish remover. Pour some liquid on a cotton pad and wipe off the blades. You'd better ask me. Sticky traces can be removed with rubbing alcohol. Let me use my polish remover for my nails. Finally, my friends got clean scissors, and I've got a neat manicure. So far, so good. My friends drawn a crooked line, but unfortunately, there's no eraser on hand. It's good that I have my special hot glue pencil with me. Take a syringe and cut off the barrel part with the adapter. Cover the barrel inside with fatty cream. Apply hot glue onto the plunger. Attach a piece of lead. Pull the plunger to fill the syringe with hot glue. Take out the glue when it hardens. Break off the excess lead. Pare away the excess glue with a knife to make a sharpened pencil. Now you can draw with it and erase your drawings with the hot glue end. I show my friend how to use my pencil instead of an eraser. Hot glue has a lot of concealed opportunities. I want to make an aged paper house covered with cracked paint. You can get this effect not only with special crack allure lacquer, you can also use white glue. We can have a crack allure effect by using acrylic paint and paper glue. It is better to take the white glue and the paint used for woodworking projects, but not for paper crafts. They are thicker and less elastic, and that's just what we need for having a crack allure effect. Cover a blank cardboard house with acrylic paint. Let it dry. Apply a layer of white glue on top. Dry out the glue using a hair dryer until a film appears. Add one more layer of acrylic paint on top. Let it cure for 24 hours. You can speed it up using a hair dryer. The glue rips off the paint layer so that little cracks appear. Now, it's not just a house, it's an old mansion. Let's add some shade. Take brown eyeshadow and apply it to the surface. Shake off the excess and clean the facade with a napkin. The eyeshadow gets into the cracks and creates a vintage effect. It's marvelous! A can ring can be used not only for opening a Coca-Cola. Do not hurry to throw it away. Let's turn it into a lovely little brooch. Take a ring from a can. Take polymer clay of different colors. Attach the clay to the ring. Cover the holes. Make a body and a head. Attach a hairdo and a bow. Make a pattern on the dress. Attach a brooch base to the back. Bake the brooch. See the temperature and the time of baking in the instructions that comes with the clay. Add eyes and a mouth once it cools down. This nice brooch can easily embellish your outfit. You can make an accessory even out of simple things. It would be good to put all the modeling dough remains into a safe place after finishing your art classes. I've got a special DIY organizer for it. Cover a clean egg carton with clear nail polish from the inside. Cover the lid with acrylic paint using a sponge. Put the modeling dough leftover into the sections. My friend sees an egg carton and thinks about food, as always. She has already made up her mind to cook scrambled eggs. I have bad news for her. She can only make an omelet out of modeling dough, but it won't be tasty. My friend wants to mend her pullover, but there is a problem. 
A needle is nowhere to be found. We've been keeping a sharp lookout, examining every inch. We even wanted to hire a private investigator, but the needle is finally found. In order to avoid losing it in the future, we'll make a safe holder for the needle. Cut a foam plastic ball in half. Wrap one half in felt and hot glue it to the flat side. Cut off the excess felt. Decorate the needle holder. Hot glue yellow felt flowers to the green lawn. Stick needles and pins. With a needle holder like this, any needle will never be lost. Did you like our ideas? Then write in your comments which crafting hacks you use. And don't forget to give your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss the most interesting hacks on the channel.